on Asia Down Under today, it's pamper time for pets. Health and wealth and white tea. And a YouTube guitar sensation. Hi and welcome to Asia Down Under. Today we bring you the story of a woman and her crusade to get students to eat healthy by getting takeaways near schools to cook healthier. Here's that story. In the last two years, Kai Hong Tan, a dietitian and nutritionist, has been visiting fast food outlets adjacent to schools. This is part of the New Zealand Heart Foundation's local food supplier project, which aims to establish a good working relationship between schools and these fast food suppliers. A lot of those bakeries were um, Asian operated, and where English was their second language. So we employed um, Kai Hong, who speaks um, Cantonese and Mandarin, and she's a qualified dietitian. And um, yeah, she um, encouraged and um, helped them um, make the changes that were needed. You know, the right person for the right job. Many schools have a closed gate policy to stop students going across the road to buy fast food. But we found the closed gate policy alone doesn't work because many students give their lunch and save their money for better value fast food after school. So we found that regardless of what's going on inside the school, the wider school food environment must be a target for intervention. We help them to improve their food to meet the school's requirement so they can become school's um, preferred food supplier. This in turn can increase their business. The Mangari Bakery is one of the successes of this project. Its owner, Jo Ho, got the first lunch order from Nga Iwi Primary School three years ago. Uh, when, we first, when we first cater for school, it's quite hard because uh, I don't know what the school guy line is. And then Kai Ong and the team went around and then uh, our school uh, find out all the information about the guideline and then she came and we worked together. Instead of uh, having a, a pastry pie, we do a cottage pie, uh, just the uh, filling and the potato itself without the fat, because mo uh, uh, most of the fat come from a pie is from the pastry, so without the pastry, that should meet the school guideline. The pies, it's been uh, enjoyed by New Zealanders for many decades, so it's very clear it's not going to go anywhere. So it, making, making sure it is better quality and lower in fat is critical. So this is why we help them to, pro, to improve the nutritional profile of food rather than stop people eating them. To ensure students like his food, Joe visits the school to get student feedback about the menu designed by Kai Hong's team. Um, Kai Hong was quite instrumental. Um, she met with the provider, which is Mangani Bakery, and discussed possible options for the new menu in terms of uh, the national food guidelines um, that are appropriate for school children. They uh, tried the menu, they made comments about particular items on the menu, and have come up with the final menu. Because at the end of the day, they're the ones that are going to be eating it and their student peers. And it seems to be working. From one school, Joe's Bakery now services five. And he has also widened his menu. Providing school those lunch will give me the benefit of exposing my business to a lot of families around the local area here. We do a lot of local businesses, so uh, having a local to know us, to have that connection there, it's built a strong relationship between us and the customers, so give me the advantage. More and more food outlets are now following suit. Um, yeah, it's picking up quite well, like, ever since um, it started, it's picking up quite good because they can see the pictures. We've got steamed taro, bananas and kumaras, and um, on request we can make um, steamed veggies and stuff like that. It's probably better because they get more selections, and some days they like eating healthy, and some days they want to spoil themselves, you know? The Hart Foundation encourages us to sell healthy alternatives like fruit jelly, juice and water. They tell us to put the water in a more visible position so kids see it first. Kai Hong hopes similar changes will take place soon in other parts of the country to ensure a healthier and happier future for young Kiwis. <laughs> <laughs>